So the big question, who is the new killer in Spiral from the Book of Saw? The same question we were asking when we seen the trailer for Jigsaw in 2017. Making a new Saw film without having the return of Tobin Bell, John Kramer, the Jigsaw Killer, is a bold move. Tobin Bell, along with Billy the Puppet, the faces front and centre of the Saw movie since its debut with Saw 1 in 2004. Everyone knows Tobin Bell from the Saw movies, as well as Billy the Puppet. Whoever the new killer in Spiral is, they have been given the honour of stepping up to the table. They have a huge challenge ahead of them in trying to pull this off and live up to the fans expectations. You cannot, I will say, you cannot replace Tobin Bell as the Jigsaw Killer. However, Chris Rock and the producers are fully confident that this film is going to work and blow everyone's minds just as the other Saw movies did. And I really do hope that is the case. I want to take the word. I want this movie to be good. I love Saw. I want that to be true. And hopefully it is. But we'll soon see for ourselves in two months time. Spiral is going to be a completely different film without the involvement of Tobin Bell. The Saw franchise became extremely lucky that Tobin Bell became part of it at the beginning and chose to come back each year for every single following sequel from then onwards. Tobin Bell, you know, he has that demeanour and tone of voice to pull off a psychotic and deranged, terminally ill man. He has a unique persona that he brings to the character. Not everyone would have, you know, people who have met Tobin Bell in person, they all say, you know, there's something about Tobin Bell that just, that just gives him the creeps whenever he's not being Jigsaw, whenever he's just being himself. There's just, there's that vibe of him, and that's the kind of guy, you know, some people just have that naturally. So trying to find somebody else who can, you know, pull off the same vibe you know, for Spiral, that is not going to be easy. Now, I did like Costas Mandalore's portrayal of Jigsaw's accomplice, Lieutenant Mark Hoffman, although Costas Mandalore didn't particularly have the same intimidating demeanour that was anything in comparison to Tobin Bell's Jigsaw. It was just a madman going around with a knife, stabbing people and putting them in traps and just following the rules. Well, to an extent. The same can also be said about Matt Passmore's Logan Nelson from Jigsaw Saw 8. Now, I did like Matt Passmore's character, but I find that um, his acting was mediocre whenever he was playing Logan Nelson. Basically, Matt Passmore's portrayal of Logan, you know, wasn't really as good as Casas Mandalore was with Mark Hoffman. Tobin Bell just nailed it. He was natural. The producers of Sparrow from the Book of Saw have stated that this sequel will be an eventful film. Think of it as you know, saw on the next level as, or maybe saw on steroids. That's what they keep on saying. I really get the impression that this means either Chris Rock or Samuel L. Jackson could be the new killer. The working title of Spiral was The Organ Donor. So that could mean that this new killer might be given the nickname The Organ Donor, uh, the same way that Jigsaw, you know, got his. If the killer was revealed to be Chris Rock or Samuel L. Jackson, then that would mean if they made a sequel to Spiral, they have an A-list actor, but bringing either one of them back for the next Saw movie, that would definitely, you know, get more people to come back and see the movie. And having an A-list actor who could pull that off properly, instead of getting, you know, mediocre actors like Matt Passmore, and I don't mean any, I'm not trying to attack Matt Passmore, I think like out there, I'm not trying to have a go. I'm just, you know, as far as I'm aware, he's not an A-list actor. You know, you don't see him starring, you know, in big movies all the time, whereas Samuel L. Jackson's in the friggin' MCU, Star Wars and all. So if he was the new killer, if he was to carry on uh, the legacy of the Saw movies, he would be the right guy for it because he can do it justice as long as, you know, he has the right script and all the storytelling, as long as that's all worked out, mapped out, figured out. People would definitely want to come back and see the next Saw movie. The fans would go crazy, they would. And at this point, it has to be one of them too. This would be a step in the right direction for the Saw franchise to go in. I honestly feel that this is what they tried to do with Jigsaw, but it didn't necessarily talk the box office, it didn't meet the expectations the producers wanted to. So they're trying the same formula again with Spiral. When I say formula, it's about trying to work out who the new killer is. Jigsaw was the same. The way Jigsaw did it was really cheap, because they tried to trick the audience into thinking that, uh, oh, Jigsaw might be alive, he could be he might have survived when we all know that was damn fucking impossible because he had a stroke cut by Jeff in Saw 3. He had an autopsy in Saw 4 where his brain was taken out of his head, his internal organs were removed, right? He was lying there, pale as dead, not moving. 
you know, and that, that really annoyed me, the way they tried to do that there, that, that was really cheap, you cannot come back from that, unless, you know, there was a, they were going to bring a supernatural element, that, you know, he could return from the dead, or if he had a long lost twin brother, like, that would have really rubbed me the wrong way, because that is so cheap, and that just would not work in the Saw universe, that would piss a lot of the Saw fans off, and see if I had done that, I would not give a fuck if it's Barrel, I would not be talking about it right now, I'd be so mad, it wouldn't phase me, that Darren and Wiseman have came back to direct this one, had they have done that. It has been speculated that this new killer might have been an accomplice of Jigsaw. There might be somebody who wasn't an accomplice of Jigsaw, but was probably inspired by his philosophy on life. Maybe it's somebody, you know, who was on the Jigsaw Rules website in, in the Jigsaw movie. There might be somebody on there. The new killer has basically just taken a page out of Jigsaw's book. Whether Jigsaw had, you know, a book, a Bible or not, you know, we don't know if that's the case. He's been inspired by Jigsaw. He wants to do what he does, but add his own philosophy to it. It would also mean why Tobin Bell is not coming back, because they're adding their own spin on it. It's just, you know, they heard that there's some madman want people to appreciate their lives, and this new guy is thinking, you know, I want to teach people a lesson too, or maybe he's going to use it for different purposes, such as, you know, killing people and taking their organs from them. So he's kind of on the same page as Jigsaw but he has his own motive to it and for some reason he's targeting police officers. I would expect that you know Tobin Bell will probably see a flashback or, or archive footage of him from a previous song maybe or maybe just a poster of him on the, the wall of the police station or mentioned in the news or surely god one of the other detectives is going to mention John Creer Mermaid for fuck's sake. Another theory going around is a new killer could be stealing organs from his victims and giving them to the people who require them to save their lives. This new killer could be a surgeon, and no, I don't think it's Dr. Lawrence Gordon. I'm going to have to rule that out right now. After Saw 1, Kerry and the producers had a lawsuit where he didn't get the full amount of profit that he was promised, and he sued the producers of the Saw movies. But, you know, it was all settled out of court, and as time had gone by, as Jason says, time is a great healer, Kerry and the producers actually, you know, made up, and afterwards, you know, they asked him would he come back to the Saw movies and he kept telling him he would only come back for the final movie and that was Saw 7 3D. I think, you know, for this movie to go forward, um, the way they're talking about it, it the killer have to, has to be Samuel L. Jackson and Chris Rock. You know, they're joining the franchise now, they are big A-list actors. If this is really Saw steroids, you know, Saw the next level, that would be the way to go. It could be uh, Chris Rock's partner, you know, but he's not an A-list actor as far as I can say. And it means if they had Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson, if they, they survive this movie, or maybe they're both in up together, you don't know. That means they can be back for the next one. This is what Jigsaw really, really, really should have done. Jigsaw has its own merits, I will say, better than Saw 7 3D. But Jigsaw was mediocre. They tried to do it from scratch again, but it was done in a cheap way. Whereas, going by this trailer, and from what we knew about the Spiral, it looks like they've learned from their mistakes and the only way to do it is to step up. It's the only way. If they really want to save the Saw franchise and keep making more of these movies, they're going to have to do it right. And they finally brought, you know, Darren and Bowsman back. I trust Darren and Bowsman. The moment he left the series is whenever it went downhill. I have low expectations. Even though Chris Rock is writing and producing, I, I just, there's nothing worse than going and seeing a Saw movie. And then it turns out to be crap. I love Saw movies. I love them. And... I think as long as they keep making them, I will admit this, I'm going to keep watching them. You know, they are my childhood. I've watched them since I was 14, just like a lot of other Saw fans are. It was unique at its time. So, Spiral from the Book of Saw will be released on May 15th. Have a great day, or a great night.